Hi there and welcome to your Race Advisor Pro Members Area training videos. In this video I want to go through the settings page for your software. You access it from your main dashboard and over on the left hand side menu is the settings item. If you click on this item it opens your settings page and you can see that currently there are four settings. As we add new features to your software we will add more settings where they're necessary. The first setting you see is manage race cards. The race cards that are available without an action next to them are race cards that are in your software as default. There'll only be a couple of these and you will have them as a possibility uh, when you first join in to the software which means that you don't need to start creating your own race cards to get using the software. When you're ready to create your own race cards you can come and add a new race card and this will bring you a pop-up. On the left hand side are all of the factors that we have for every horse in a race. There are a lot of factors available and in order to make it easier to find them you can filter your records. If you know the name you can filter them by the name. If you know the ID you can filter them by the ID. So we could just type in um, a name and we can filter by a particular type of rating or we know the ID and we can find it with a 52 in. When you first start using the ratings, it's going to seem like there is a lot of them and you may not know where to start. Obviously, ask questions in the forum and get involved in the community because that is the best way. Hovering over a rating will show you information about what each rating is. But we've made it easier to filter these ratings when you start. We have a rating type. So there's a raw rating, and that is just a raw number. It's the score that the horse has got for that particular factor. There is a rank rating type for most ratings, and this is where we take the raw score and we order the horses from best to worst, number one being the best, and going down two, three, four, fifth best, sixth best, etc. And there is a difference from top rating for most of the ratings. And this is where we look at the difference in score from the top rated horse. So if the top rated horse had a score of 100, the difference from top for that horse would be zero because there is no difference between the top rated horse's score and the top rated horse's score. The second top rated horse would be 90 if it had a score of 90. Then the difference between the top rated horse and the second top rated horse would be 10. So this allows you to see uh, the difference between them. And I will actually show you in another video a visual representation of what that actually means. But you should see on the side of the screen here um, a written presentation so that you can understand exactly how the difference from top works. And if you've got any questions, please do post in the forum. The other is for occasionally we have a few ratings that fit into a different category, not the raw, the rank, or the difference from top, and they'll go into the other. So you can filter your ratings by one of these categories, and if you're starting, the easiest one to filter by is rank. Um, and then we have rating groups. And again, we've classified all of our factors, and any new factors we add will also be classified into a class, connections, form, or speed. There are a handful of factors that don't fit into them, and they will go into the other. So if we're looking for a form rating, we can choose rank and form, and we've shrunk the list significantly to all of our form ratings that have a rank score. If we hover over them, we can see here that this is the horse's rank for the number of good races in his last three runs. Is it the best horse in the race or the worst horse in the race for that factor? To add a factor to your race card, you simply click on the plus sign. And you can add as many factors as you like from as many categories as you like. Once you have added them, you can click on them and drag them around to change the order that they're displayed on your race card. To remove a factor, simply click on the minus icon and it will go back. You can put your race card name in here and a description. And when you finish, you add race card. The filter section allows you to apply a filter to your race card, and we will look at that in a minute. The filter works in such a way that if a race meets the conditions of your filter when you open it, it will automatically open the race card you've chosen. 
For example, if you want a specific race card for all weather sprint races, it has just speed ratings on it that work for those races, you can create a filter for all weather sprint races and, when an, and you would apply that filter here by clicking on it and add race card or update race card. When you open a race that meets the conditions in your filter, it will then automatically open this race card for you. So that's a very quick way to be able to choose race cards automatically when a race opens. When you've created your race card, it will appear here and any new race cards will have a cross here, which is a delete button should you wish to delete them. If you want to export your ratings for the day, you do it from this export racing data button. By clicking on that, you get a pop up and you can choose one of your race cards. You can then choose a date range up to 31 days and you can choose whether to have your distance displayed in yards or miles, furlongs and yards. Pressing the export button will then export all your data and ratings for that time frame from the race card chosen. If you want to manipulate your data in Excel, in a CSV file or into a database uh, before doing your analysis or placing your bet, you can export our ratings here for the race that day by using this export feature. You can save as many race cards as you want, but please be aware if you delete a race card, it will no longer be on our system and it's no longer recoverable. Beneath the race card settings is manage race card filters, which we touched on briefly. Again, you can edit them and also you'll get an edit action next to your race cards as well, should you want to update them. You can add a new filter and delete a new filter using the cross. If we add a new filter, you can choose your race conditions like we discussed. We could do flat or weather. You can choose multiple factors, different ground conditions, specific courses or specific classifications. You can also select all, select none. And in courses, you can select UK only or Irish only. Choose a filter name and a filter description. And then there are some extra settings here should you wish to have conditions for number of races, class of race, prize money in race, the distance of the race, which can be entered as yards, miles, or furlongs. Um, however, we recommend always using yards or an age range. And then add your filter. Once you've added your filter, it will appear here, and it then becomes available to select on a race card so that you can specify the race conditions for a specific race card to open automatically. Underneath this, we have Manage AI Odds Lines, and this controls our PR odds. The probability power will be set to a default, as will the public odds. You can change these in here, specifically to your setup, and like this, and submit. Once you've submitted, this becomes the standard setting for your race cards for the PR odds. However, as you saw in the previous video, you can edit these on a race by race basis, should you wish to. Currently, the last settings on this page is our manage eye catchers. And this is where we can add the horses that we want to add. You can get all the information here by clicking, simply clicking in the notes box. We'll open a pop-up where you can add your notes for that horse. All you need to do is click in the box, enter your notes here, and save your notes. And you can see that they have entered in immediately. If you want to remove a horse or add a horse to your list, as well as doing it via the eye symbol on the race cards, you can also do it from the Manage Eye Catchers link just here. Clicking on this will open a link and you will have every horse in our database. You can search for them by name, trainer name or owner name. Simply press the plus sign to add them in to your eye catchers or the minus sign to remove them. When you finish, you can update your eye catchers list and you'll have your new thing listings here with the ability to add your notes. So that is how you use the settings in your Race Advisor Pro membership area for your software. Thank you very much for watching this video and I look forward to seeing you in another one. Goodbye for now.